Hello, everyone, and welcome to our um, panel on a Polish theater, a part of uh, International Online Theater Festival. My name is Magda Romanska. Uh, I apologize for our slight technical difficulties if you witnessed them previously. Um, I am executive director of the Theater Times, and today's panel will be led by my wonderful colleague, Kasia Le, who will uh, lead and lead the conversation with our esteemed guests. Um, so I will pass this on to Kasia. Thank you, Magda. Uh, and thank you to the Amsterdam School of Historical Studies at the University of Amsterdam and between for me and the research group at the University of Gdańsk for supporting and co-organizing this panel. Glitches are a wonderful thing, uh, and we've been reminded how, how playful a uh, technological world can be. Uh, and let's start now. Together with me today is a group of wonderful scholars and artists. Uh, Eva Ball is a professor in the Department of Performativity Studies at the Yelonia University in Krakow. She published books on cultural mobility, on ideological and sociopolitical underpinnings of knowledge productions, amongst others. She also researches minority languages, translation studies, gender and queer studies, and de- and post-colonial studies. Welcome, Eva. Maciej Gorczyński, director of Inni Ludzie, Other People, which is streaming now for 24 hours uh, by Teater Barha, uh, is a director who, uh, on one hand, is a trainee, uh, one of the um, graduates of a traditional Polish theater system, so National Theatre Academy in Kraków, and also of philosophy at the University of Gdańsk but at the same time has been connected with for many years with Gardzienice Theatre and performed there as an actor. He's a um, RD of the 27th Polish National Competition for Contemporary Play Staging for in Ludzie, other people that we have now uh, honor to watch. And Tomasz Wiśniewski, professor at the Department of Performing Arts of the University of Gdańsk, He's a founder of Beckett Research Group in Gdańsk and the Between Pomiędzy Research Group and the festival. He has published books on Complicité, Beckett, amongst others, and at present his research focuses on Irish drama and theatre. Thank you. And what is wonderful about this group, apart all that rich expertise, that we are all from very different places in Poland. And I'm going to now use Eva Ball's uh, reference from her recent lecture on, on uh, Ukrainian theater, in which she used that form, place of memory, place of uh, commemoration, place that we come back to uh, remembering. And I'm going to uh, ask you about when you think about transformation, that 1989, 90s, whatever that means to you, uh, from communism to capitalism, and I'm asking you about your place of memory. Where do you go? Oh my God. So you're making me uh, speak about my age. <laughs> Wonderful, just for the beginning. But um, when I think, it's not exactly a ge geopolitical play, uh, place I'm thinking mm. of, but I'm, I'm thinking actually about... Uh, generational situatedness uh, um, so from my point of view from the generation that this year turns 50 unfortunately <laughs> i can say that um we have seen the uprising of the transformation heroes men heroes um, mostly like Lake valenza and um and jean paul ii uh, John Paul II, excuse me, and we have seen also or witnessed uh, also the the fall of these heroes. So in some way we are, um, and we and to, together with the theater that is really really close to 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 our generation, as as I can see it. So um, uh, we have uh, witnessed also. Um, uh, one very important thing that the transformation has been narrated from the point of view uh, or through the figures of this man hero, not her heroine, but heroes. And uh, something that has been overlooked in the theater 
during the last 30 years after the transformation was the situatedness of women in the Polish society. I would say that it's, it's partly um, a thought, women's thought also, because they, they have, they themselves have overlooked uh, this the importance of, of of the position of women in in, in the Polish society, and um, and we are living today a kind of a late or delayed revolution, social revolution um, that we can see through the um, plays by. Uh, Rosa Sarkisian, Joanna Wichowska in Radio Maria, or through um, uh, the 1989 by Katarzyna Szyngera. So we are li living a kind of a delayed revolution that uh, has been overlooked during the transformation process that has been mainly focused on the on the uh, uh, well how to become wealthy how to become rich you know and uh, that has been concerned about the catholic church so this is my point of view thank you Emma. in short because we have no time <laughs> So maybe 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 I will join um, uh, Eva in 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 in, um, in 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 her um, very broad um, uh, view and and transformative years um, uh, since 1989, but also what is going on now in Poland and at the same time globally. I mean, in in, in other countries, the, the, the female voice, um, uh, the the voice of. Uh, various kinds of, uh, we may say, uh, marginal voices cease to be uh, marginal and, and enter and enter the public sphere of theater very strongly. Uh, similar situation happened uh, quite recently in Ireland. Uh, but, but, but coming back, um, Kasia, to your question, uh, when thinking about um, early um, 1990s, I, 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 I need to come come back uh, to to the place when I lived then to Koszali, which, um, as you know, is not a very metropolitan city um, with many with with thriving theatrical life, and I think it was um, it, th th this experience which which comes uh, uh, which comes back to me when when thinking about your question is is quite. Uh, Quite, quite, quite a sort of interesting personally because I, I need to come back to Domek Qatar, Hangman's House, which was, uh, which is in in in, Kofal, in a tiny little space, a tiny little theater among tiny, tiny, tiny theatrical uh, 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 venue, which which in many ways I think um, also speaks a lot about times that you are speaking about about changing about transformation and uh, something new going on in my in my in my early years of theatrical exper experience and at the back of my head it's still with me and, and many other people that that we've got tiny little venues sometimes for people not living in Krakow not living in Warsaw or in Gdańsk probably uh, uh, such places were were very important at the time too that people were fascinated with theater managed to keep them uh, managed to 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 uh, to cultivate theater life in spite of difficulties difficulties financial difficulties that, that Eva mentioned must have been enormous at the time I can't even imagine you know what it was like at the time when really what mattered was financial progress and 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 uh, and uh, and and life which is changing from from a year to another that's that's probably an answer to uh, to, to to what you mentioned it's a great answer much mm -hmm. uh, what, what can i add um, uh, okay I, I will be speak about uh, performance uh, other other people uh, and 
And Moskowska, Dota Moskowska. Dota Moskowska said that uh, when she, uh, she watched um, uh, other people, the premiere from uh, Warsaw Theater, uh, directed by Grzegorz Jarzyna, uh, that was a good performance, of course, um, um, you know, very politic, you know, it's about Warsaw, about the society, but there is no about uh, the woman fate, woman sorrow. And there is in uh, this uh, story, in this book, and uh, what we want to do in uh, our team uh, is uh, to uh, create the space of uh, this uh, topic. Uh, it's, I think, in, in very deep, uh, in, uh, our performance is uh, about um, uh, the uh, so sorrow of, of Polish females. Um, okay, maybe now it's, it will be the end. Hmm? Uh, dziękuję, thank you. I, I, I had exactly the same uh, perception. Like that was very clear for me watching uh, watching your production, and I think it's important to say this is a big departure of the text uh, mm -hmm. because in the text it is uh, Camille that is the main character. So uh, that that is a very uh, big decision that for me it worked powerfully uh, and I want to say that it is uh, very interesting how Inni Ludzie in uh, Theater Baraha and your interpretation really raises the points that both Eva and, and Tomek raised but also I guess my own memories uh, because mm -hmm. I come from the generation nothing so that we didn't have to fight uh, for anything uh, mm -hmm. you know we for us transformation meant uh, Lego access to Lego that uh, your production so beautifully raises. But at the same time, uh, I remember um, I remember those women that Monika Kufel so p powerfully performs in your show. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that that depression, that depression that is everywhere, mm -hmm. that is in your show, but at the same time that in many ways for me it's the 90s. It's the in particular not only men, not only women men but it's that depression of not being able to live the Western dream that we were promised you know that beautiful colorful land where mm -hmm. you can have everything everywhere mm -hmm. for nothing and everyone are just happy like in dynasty. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I think the, the question uh, from the yeah, the story, the, the book of Maslowska and our performance is a question for a language, what you are speaking, yeah? Because um, uh, the conflict in this performance is, um, uh, um, the, the, there is the border between characters and the border is, is a language. They cannot meet others and they cannot speak with others because the language. And the question is, what is the language of transformation? Um, uh, the language of, for example, for example, middle class, like Monika Kufel character. It's, it's um, uh, you know, basic middle class woman from Warsaw, yeah? And, and Maciej, uh, her husband. Uh, they're speaking a specific language and the main character of, of the performance, Kamiliani, who is uh, an artist, yes, uh, but he's a uh, hooligan too, and uh, some, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, bad guy, I think, a little. Uh, he's speaking uh, a specific language, and this language is a collapse. And um, the question is uh, that the collapse, this border, is uh, the main problem of um, in poly, poly, Polish uh, society, it's the main problem of uh, the conflict, because this is the conflict of classes and uh, uh, conflict of the violence. Um, th th there is, there is uh, one, one uh, for me, very um, uh, touchable, uh, 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 because I've, I'm watching every performance of other people. And there is a, 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 a dialogue between two girls, uh, Lena Witkowska and Agnieszka Kocińska. Uh, and this is the dialogue. Uh, 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 the, the topic of this dialogue is um, uh, homophobic. Yes, because one of the girls is uh, a lesbian, I think. Yes. And the uh, uh, other girl is, um, is she speak, you know, very, very brutal and uh, and you know the, the hateful language, but 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 we know that it's only 
this only a language within there is something else but th there is no connection and um, uh, for me it's, it's this this uh, this part is always very touchful yes it's very 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 strong um I was I was thinking about this this topic the transformation where is this this transformation in our performance when we start um, uh, we are uh, we were speaking with the team Cukre yeah Cukre is the um, three of the girls um, Agnieszka Kocinska Lena Witkowska and Karina Gugowska um, uh, and we are looking something like you know. I don't I don't know English word, but it's it will be block over, like you know, block of flats, flats, but uh yeah, block how of to flats. Say? Yeah, block of flats, flats. Yes, flats. I know flats, but but yeah. um, um, uh, block over block of block block community over. of people, community yes. of people living in a block no, no. of flats, probably. Yes, but chodź mi o przymiotnik, wiesz, tak jak from the flats. Yeah, flat. so atmosphere of this. Um, uh, I, I was lived um, uh, in a block of flats um, uh, in Gdynia and Wasłowska uh, uh, lived in block of flats in Wejherowo and uh, uh, the girls know uh, the, 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 this situation and we, we are looking at this. So, uh, because I, I, I feel that deep in this um, uh, uh, text and, and the performance is this atmosphere. So we are looking a sound of black of flats, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, atmosphere of block of flats. Um, uh, because for, for me, this space of block of flats is uh, a symbol of transformation. Uh, and the, the, the gray color, you know, because the communism was gray. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, now uh, I think only, you know, decoration uh, disappear. The, the stage of our our society of our uh, space is great always yes uh, uh, great great faces uh, our our last song is about this uh, yes. this is the, the face of depression you know and uh, melancholic of uh, melancholy of uh, block of flats that's a wonderful phrase, and I think it is really like it is was really felt in in the piece that the characters are on one hand very far away in the language, and on the other hand they are very mm -hmm. close on the stage. Yes. Like in the block of flats, you can hear everything, you can see everything, right? You you really really close. You mentioned language, and uh, you know it's 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 such a like it's you know it's Maslowska, so of course language is like you know super heightened and really experimental but then you add another layers because the musicality uh, in the text of on on the page of Maslowska is towards let's say hip hop fish uh, aesthetics but you add it to to it uh, other musicalities yes uh, i can recognize some you know almost quotations from the from the 80s and 90s that 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 vibe and i can mm -hmm. i can hear of course the the prayers and and vocalization mm -hmm. so question is to all of you like to my take it is why his narration needed that heightened language and uh tomac uh, uh, to tomac and eva it's it's and and magda uh it's it's a question of because that heightened language you know magic asked what is the language of transformation but when we think about the you know those plays those performances that have been narrating transformation, particularly from marginalist perspective. So from Julia Holevinska, Foreign Bodies, which mm -hmm. used Eva Hołuszko as the as the um, as the source for, for understanding what happened to Poland, it had choruses and rhyme prose. When we think about uh, Babel Revolution, also Julia Holevinska, which used a fairy tale as a as a sort of you know way of narrating communism. Uh, uh, capitalism transformation, but also, of course, 1989. You know the 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 one uh, th this year, uh, a rap, uh, let's say hip hop, and everything else musical about the transformation. There is that sense that we need heightened language. They are different, 
So I guess mm -hmm. after uh, after Maciek uh, talks about uh, his choices, I'll be really I would really want to know from from the three of you from observing this in a broader perspective. Why is it? You know, I have my own theory, but I shared that at the end. But I don't know. That. Maciek, so you it może zacząć al, albo może zacząć ktoś inny, or someone else can start. I I don't think that. It, so don't. So yeah, I, 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 I can stop maybe. <laughs> I will be listen. <laughs> well, I can if I may. Um, yeah, I, I was listening to Maciej Gorczyński and he said that beautifully that uh, um, in Ludzie is centered, is focused on, on the mm, women's um, mm, experience. Uh, but um, I, I would like to add something because actually Maslowska has brought uh, in light a completely different idiom. Uh, of people, of group of people that uh, um, has that haven't been represented in the theater, I would say that she just brought in light people that uh, are not or were not beneficiaries of the transformation. They, uh, this is, you know, this kind of um, the part of society that probably, but we don't know, but probably has voted uh, in 2015, has vo voted the, the, the extreme right. Be be why? Because um, I suppose the narration of the, you know, financial success of the welfare of, of the well or well of people of this liberal thought that if you are good enough, if you work hard, if you have a, a high degree of education, you're going to make it, you, you will have the success. So this kind of narration was wasn't really adapted to those people because we we know now we know only now that they didn't manage to uprise in the leather or social leather because it's not exactly their fault if you don't have a right background if you don't have financial means you cannot change your life from one point into another just immediately and maslovska with very uh sub in a very subtle way she brought in light this the language of those people the poetry of this language without um mocking them without actually mocking them but giving them a kind of a poetry that Elfriede Linick does with the language so she twists you know this language she uh, she, she she makes this language being a uh, literature language so this is a kind of a subjectivity that she gave to the people that has haven't been represented in in, in the polish theater yeah if i may jump in um i really like that point that you were making that she gave them language of poetry but through that language also giving them a sense of dignity um, that is quite important, yeah, because that's sort of foundational oftentimes for their voting choices, often, you know, against their own interest. However, um, parties which reassert their sense of dignity can often gain their approval because of that. Um, my perspective on the 1990s in Poland has uh, really changed, and I've been struggling with this, you know, since the war started, since the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Um, because I'm seeing those years in a very different light. You know, I saw them before through the prism of post-colonial theory, but it felt complete. And now it feels like it continues. Like it felt like this time period, the 20th century, the story of the 20th century, the story of the totalitarian powers felt complete. That was the chapter was closed and we can draw conclusions. And we can think about it through post-colonial lens. Now it feels like the chap, the 20th century story of totalitarian powers, which have shaken and disrupted, uh, you know, lives of so many people, and you know, in completely destroyed many in Eastern Europe. 
um, it's not finished. 20th century is not finished yet. And so how do the post-colonial nations of the Eastern Europe build their national identity without falling into nationalism and so and the kind of uh, you know, xenophobic thinking. Uh, and this is going to become even more difficult uh, to how to assert yourself as a nation um, separate from Russia and from Russia, mm -hmm. but at the same time, not to fall into that sort of extremist thinking. And being conscious as a nation of that, it will be a, a labor of intellectuals and of the people. Um, so the playwrights who wrote during the time, I think some of them were, you know, were struggling with that. And the ones that are writing right now, it will be difficult, I think, to avoid that question um, of being incomplete. Somehow the chapter of the 20th century, um, you know, not being finished. So that's which is something that uh, actually comes up in the end of Iniludia, where where we hear Kami's observation of Warsaw and how he feels estranged from his own country in in ways what, what you are saying as well. Uh, Tom Ku. Um, uh, I I think I think that uh, well at this stage we've got so many issues which re resonate and and uh, so many points which which go together uh, ju ju just as a starting point I, I i think that it somehow refers to what what magda said and eva said before and and the title also the uh, uh, uh this positive myth of 1989 the musical that is so recent I, I i can't escape thinking about this as being some sort of double uh, of in eulogy of other people of a story which um, in many ways is so completely at a different extreme of, uh, of shaping the transform transformation and, and what was what, what led to transformation. And with In Nilugia uh, being at the same time very, uh, um, I, I'm not sure how far poetic is a good word for what I want to say, but very uh, non-literal uh, in, in uh, in, in, in theatrical sort of um, imagery and also in, in the language which is said and at the same time this language and the vision of the uh, of the world which is which is uh, which which is created through through this language it's it's so realistic I I, I, I mentioned I mentioned the region I, I'm coming from in, in 1990s uh, you know, Peggy Air is sort of agricultural associations which fell down. It's it's um, Eva exactly about these people also. Of course, they this is about Warsaw, so, so, but but at the same time, I think this is this is a very similar story, the very similar language. And one more thing that I would like to to, to say uh, when when thinking about Maciej and his work with. Uh, Maslowska's text um, about this musicality. I, I, I think that additionally to this depression, to this to this mood, which is, you know, um, the mood of isolated people, people who are not necessarily going together. I think that musicality of Maciej's work gives certain sense of collectiveness. Paradoxically, mm -hmm. within the ensemble, I, I think the the, the 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 collectiveness is quite strongly felt and um, um, especially in such a wonderful place as the other baraka which is which is well it, which is not exactly the same as um, hangman's house in Pashani, but well th there is a sense of uh, of theater in this of underground theater of space which is non-theatrical being so theatrical and I think in this space, the, uh, 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 the ensemble that Machi created is strongly felt. And just to finish my, 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 my stream of consciousness, I, I, I would like to add that Machi works with Ivona Bandarevich. And, and this is also felt in the performance, not only the sound, but also the visual story, which is maybe moderate on the one hand, but uh, but but gives the theatrical, the stage language, um, uh, certain coherence, 
uh, within sound, within vision, within the language, there is this sense of, of sharpness, of provocation, of uh, uh, being non-obvious. And, and, and I think that, that finally it also comes back to what Magda said about, about certain, certain, certain traits uh, in Polish theater also, which, which moves us back. I mean, mm, uh, sonic tissue in the Polish theater, I think is nothing, nothing extraordinary, let's put it in this way. And, and but, but Maciej uh, puts this into a new, in, into a new dimension. Perhaps these, mm. these random thoughts gathered from, um, uh, as, as a response to, to what, what, what has been said so far. Thank you, Tamko. Uh, I also agree because I think like scenically, visually that trolley from Lidl uh, that is there on stage, it, it, you know, brings together so many tropes with Anna Nowitzka inside it as well, to which we will come back. But Matko, I first would like to hear from you about uh, that importance of layered musicality, the złożonej muzyczności, tych wielu referencji muzycznych. Uh, and uh, linguistically as well as, as rhythmically um, uh, for you. Okay, uh, firstly, I, I want to uh, say thank you, Tomek, uh, for, for uh, what, what you say about um, um, uh, this uh, you know, specific musician quality of uh, the team. Uh, because uh, I think this is, uh, um, this is a qu quite a little sense uh, of uh, uh, hip hop community, you know, um, uh, this is very universal culture, and uh, like the place to speak and sing, yes. Uh, so uh, in the uh, you know like a f f fundamental of fundament of background, the, the performance is uh, thinking about uh, hip hop. Um, of course, the story is uh, very tragic, and you know people cannot speak with other. Yes, the the, the problem of language. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, but uh, the the team uh, is singing together. Yes, and uh, the I think the the, the high, high hidden hidden sense of performance is uh, uh, possible of community. Yes and uh, possible to create an artist because this is the story about artists Kamil Janik uh, became a, a, an artist um, uh, in you know the dramatic structure of performance yes on the end when he's singing uh, gray faces uh, the, the last uh, track uh, of, of performance he is an artist uh, uh, um, we are looking uh, connection and this is the, the answer for for question of Kasia. Um, we, we, we we are looking connection uh, with uh, hip -hop, Polish hip hop from nineties. Uh, there there was um, a legendary team Kaliber Forty Four, and um, uh, the character uh, the, 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 <laughs> the, the, the magic magic was. Um, um, uh, you know, it's, it's like a very romantic, tra tragic pe person. Um, um, and uh, my performance um, uh, in, um, you know, in, in, in very deep sense is something like for Father Evie, uh, Jade, yes? Um, uh, so we are, Piotr Mateusz Wach who created uh, my character, um, uh, in f f first rehearsals, uh, his own rehearsals, making movies, making text, uh, so on, so on. He was uh, working with uh, the person of Mag Magic and uh, the, the music in, of Caliber Tesh And we, uh, we, we uh, want to uh, take this atmosphere to, to our performance. I, I, and I think it is in this performance. This is the fu fun fu fundamental of, of this performance. And, uh, and um, of course, we are, we are using, um, uh, you know, uh, some kind of music styles for own character, singing with own style, music, musician style. 
for example, Maciej uh, is a bluesman, yes, uh, um, uh, Ivona is a pop star, you know. Um, uh, that's why, because uh, when Maslowska started to write the other people, uh, she sh said that uh, she, she, she has uh, such uh, 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 interesting experience. She, she was uh, she was uh, working uh, uh, in Warsaw, and she was thinking when she, uh, she uh, uh, watched uh, uh, a people. Um, uh, what is the music uh, in? is uh, in their mind. So uh, I, 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 I'm going by, you know, uh, uh, bass, yes. Uh, uh, I see the, 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 the woman, uh, she's looking the window, and my question is, what is the music in her, you know? Everybody ha has a music, so... Uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, I think this, this is this is this is the start point to uh, music and musician discover, and of course in theoretical way in practice yes, this uh, musical fundament the rhythm uh, the, the um, uh, sound uh, uh, is uh, from my uh, music theater when I was an actor uh, from Gorzienica. yes, but of course it's very different, but it's take from there. Hmm? The, the create the, the music structure and put a, a, a dramatic situation on, but the, but the music is um, fundament of of um, of the work of the uh, uh, theater world. Thank you, and I'm so glad that you said for Father Sis because that's exactly my theory. What what Tomek said and and Eva and Magda about that, you know, trying to make sense, trying to make traces, trying to create new myth that somehow we have that sense that it should be another epopeia narodowa, right? Another <laughs> national epopeia. So we somehow go back to that heightened language, right? Even in 1989, the musical, they think about Dziady. There is a moment when they think about Dziady. Somehow we <laughs> can't, it's so, even, you know, that transformation, Gustav Konrad, right? We, that becomes <laughs> always, always the one that we come back somehow Like it, it genetically, inherently, whether ingrained in us, in Polish classes, in yes. school, uh, that somehow even in theater to in create a new, because in foreign bodies, the same, like uh, the forefathers, it also appears in that pattern. So somehow we, we want to create the new one uh, in relationship with the old one. So, mm -hmm. you know, perhaps Darek Kosiński, serdecznie pozdrawiamy was right, you know, how, how deeply uh, that that is uh, ingrained. So as we are, uh, as the time, uh, as the time um, runs uh, away slowly from us, uh, my last question is, uh, who do you think uh, Polish theater so far left out of that story? So whose story of transformation, whose perception of transformation from communist and capitalism voice, perspective, um, memories, we haven't heard yet. And uh, who feels like answering that first? I think we uh, we need to look for uh, Masłowska, yes, because Masłowska have uh, such a talent uh, to hear the voices, uh, to to hear the language, and she is, of course, uh, maybe she will be laugh uh, <laughs> what I say, but but he is uh, uh, he is like a Joyce a little, you no. Know? Uh, Joyce created Ulysses from from uh, the many many languages uh, and and i think Maswaska is created the, the, the same way you know uh, it's uh, of course it's poetic talent but uh, i think um, uh, you know it, it's of course we, we can speak about you know some so, 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 sociological or philosophical artist and and 
um, uh, political artist, and but but in in Maslowska language uh, and he, she and, and talent of language uh, of, of of writing is. Uh, something very interesting uh, to, to, to hear uh, um, uh, to hear the transformation. Hmm? Thank you. Maybe I can add mm -hmm. something. Uh, well, I uh, listening to your last comment, Kasia, uh, about the musicality in the Polish theater that really changes the message also, you know, the kind of uh, sound musicality that changes the message. I would say that this transformation has been narrated uh, by uh, previously by uh, mainly by by men. Uh, and I'm um, and thinking about Jan Klata, who, who used to use the uh, the pop pop cultural music to um, to change, to twist in so somehow the classical uh, dramatic li literature, his Oresteia, his Hamlet, and uh, you know, all this great old literature that he was working on was accompanied by, by, by pop culture or music. And it was exactly his generation, his point of view, but what what if we change the music yeah so uh rap music is obviously a, a, a completely uh 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 unestimate underestimated gender in 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 the theater and it was like when when we we are talking all the time about 1989 and I got a feeling that for the first time we ended up not only with a certain uh, manish vision of the transformation, but we've, uh, we have ended up with the position of theater director also, because the Katarzyna Shingera is the director, and we have ended up with the kind of a philosophical, um, uh, uh, theater that from the school of Chris, Christian Lup, Lupa, you know, this kind of theater. And it, it was so refreshing for me it, that, you know, experiencing a completely new language, uh, a completely new rhythm. So speaking about new languages that and new sounds that are changing the theater, another example is uh, the, the use of dialects, local di dialects in the theater. It, it, it's another, you know, um, the localness uh, that, that comes into the stage, on the stage. It's another kind of musicality or another kind of sound that changes the message. So this is the right maybe uh, way to think about the future changes. Thank you. Yeah, Tomek, Magda, we need to it's, be now super brief. Super brief. So um, that's a very difficult question. And uh, if you if you need to be super brief, uh, I, I think that, um, um, that the quality of integration of various voices would be would be fascinating to listen to in the future. I, I would say collaboration of Katarzyna Szyngiera and Maciej Gorczyński would be would be would be would be something I would dream of. Yes, in this Coppolo. This Coppolo is, I think, then it would have to be underpinned and starting from this Coppolo uh, to tell the no, story I of the CGR. I, I, I haven't I I I haven't said that. But uh, I see Mate <laughs> has an idea. <laughs> Magda? Well, you know, I I do think that um uh, the story of the disabled people have not been told and that this transformation from communism to capitalism has been traumatic for them in many ways uh, because in capitalism they have not, I mean, in, in communism they were not really existing at all. Yeah, the society was not built for them. So the visibility that came, you know, once Poland joined EU, the laws changed and the building codes were enforced. And so that visibility, it, you know, it was, transformational in many ways. And I think that this transition 
for the disabled people in Poland, um, um, I don't know, it has not yet been fully explored what it means um, and how the two system approached uh, you know, capitalism, even with its you know, pressures on perfect body and all of that, we have not reached yet truly explored what communism did to, to the people, people and disabled people and how it approached body and how despite its claims of um, equality, it was extremely prejudicial towards the perfect body and built on the assumption of a working functional ideal body. And for that reason, you know, the disabled people were not part of the public discourse at all. The schools were not, 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 um, not uh, um, accessible. The workplaces were not accessible. And so, um, so the transition from communist discourse around body and functional and dysfunctional body to um, capitalist discourse around the body and its own faults, it's it's very interesting um, thing to think about it. I don't think we have yet fully, those of us who study Polish culture or who came for, come from this culture, I don't know if we yet grasp what it truly means. This is uh, now uh, looking into a future, uh, a really important ending, Magda, thank you. Um, Magda, Tomek, Eva, Maciek, uh, dziękuję bardzo. Thank you so much for, for all your inputs. Uh, thank you to those of you watching us. Um, have a wonderful night, wonderful day, or wonderful middle of the day, wherever you are. Thank you. Um, thank you, everyone, for participating in our International Online Theatre Festival.